Yo, what's going on, guys? This is with Dragster TV here, back at it again. And so, guys, we're back here at the Dragster TV headquarters, like always, guys. And yeah, so I was playing around on my new gaming PC since, uh, you know, the Dragster TV headquarters got a little bit of an upgrade earlier today. We got ourselves a Cyber Power PC, new gaming PC. Did a whole unboxing and review video about that earlier. You guys can feel free to check it out in the uh, link down below in the top of the description. Alrighty, guys. Anywho, been playing around with it and whatnot. Works great, by the way. And yeah, so the main game I like playing here is, uh, and the only game I've played here so far, is uh, SnowRunner. Alrighty, guys. The normal way I'd play SnowRunner is on my Xbox One, which is sitting on a nice little cooling stand under my desk there. I no longer have a monitor to go to it. That's alright. I'll be upgraded soon. Anywho, uh, normally I'd play it uh, using an Xbox One controller. So I got to thinking... How can I link my Xbox One controller to my PC? All right. Uh, found out how. It's really not that hard, especially for those of you that uh, have an uh, Series 2 controller. All right, guys, it's it's the second generation. It's not a Series 2. It's not like an Xbox uh, special controller or anything. It's just a normal one that will come with your Xbox One if you got it in the last, I guess, like three years because I got mine like three years ago. And yes, this is the controller that came with it, and this is a second generation controller. The way you guys can tell if yours is a first generation controller or a second generation controller is it's very simple right here. So pretty much what uh, just goes around this little white piece uh, right here on the controller that goes around the Xbox button here. Uh, now this is pretty crucial in the like easiest way. Uh, you guys will have to go on Amazon if, okay, so, after I tell you guys how to tell if your controller is a first generation controller or second generation controllers, or controller, if you guys have a first generation controller, you guys will have to go to Amazon or you know any website, and or just Google and look up, and you guys will find a bunch of websites. You guys will have to buy yourself a Bluetooth adapter. They'll go into the bottom of your controller, or never mind, they'll go into your Xbox or something like that. I haven't used one. Uh, it goes in somewhere, either your Xbox or your controller. Who knows? Anyways, the easy way to get just straight up with just your controller and just your PC to link your controller, your second generation Xbox controller to your PC. This is the easy way to do it. Alrighty guys, so uh, here's how to tell if your controller is the first generation controller or second generation controller. Mine right here is second generation. Right here is gonna be the same material and same color um, and it'll be the same feel and everything as the rest of your controller. So right here should feel and look the same as right here. And that means that that is a second generation controller if it all is all the same. And what that also means is that this is Bluetooth capable. I mean, you can connect it to your phone, play um, phone games with it, and then also be able to just easily go into Bluetooth settings and connect it, uh, connect your controller straight to your PC. Now, how do you do that exactly? Let's hop straight into that. So. The way to do it is you're going to go down here. You can hit search and search settings if you guys like. But the easy way to do it is you're going to go down here. Now, this is for Windows 10. You're going to go to start. You're going to go to settings. Now, I'm pretty sure on most computers, as long as you guys can find uh, where you guys can connect Bluetooth, um, I'm pretty sure your guys, is, even if it's not on Windows, will be able to connect to it. All right, guys. But obviously, you're going to want to be gaming. Windows 10 is superior when it comes to gaming. So here we go, we're going to go ahead and select devices here. And as you guys can see, I already have my Xbox One, or my Xbox wireless controller here. We're going to go ahead and hit that and remove the device. So it's just going to look like uh, I've never even connected it to my computer here when I pull it up. So what you guys are going to go ahead and do, you're going to go ahead and take your controller, make sure it's charged, make sure it has batteries or battery pack in it, like mine is a battery pack. And what you guys are going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and start it up. You're just going to hit a button and then hold down the very top button, that's the pairing button, so it blinks very fast. And you guys will have a view of it right there. Next, you're gonna go to add Bluetooth or other device. Now down here for, now it says Xbox controllers with wireless adapter. So that's if you guys have a first generation controller and you guys went online and bought yourself an adapter for it, even though it'd probably just be easier, easier uh, to get yourself a second generation controller, but it's up to you guys. So that is where it would come up right there in everything else. Since uh, a lot of you guys may just read Xbox controllers and hit that, even though it's not going to pop up. All right. You're just going to go right into Bluetooth at the very top. Give it a second and it will pop up two options. Don't know why it pops up two. 
Uh, it did pop up one earlier, and I just went ahead and connected to it. So you're just going to go ahead and, I guess, just hit one of them. Let's just see. You guys can see it connecting, and then that, and it paired. All right. So now you're going to go ahead and just hit done using your mouse. And then this is what you guys are going to go ahead and do. So to check that it worked, you guys are going to go ahead and wait for it to load there for just a moment. So once the loading is done, guys, okay, never mind. I guess when the loading isn't done, as you guys can see, you guys can use it like this. So that's how you guys know it has successfully paired is when it's just like this. All right, guys, and you guys can control your PC like that. All right. So pretty much all I did was that, and then I pretty much just hit X, or not the X, I closed it out, and then I launched SnowRunner, and I was able to play perfectly with a controller, didn't even recognize the mouse was there. And it's really just as easy as that, guys. I know that's a bit of a carried out longer tutorial, but that is exactly how you guys can pair your Xbox One controller, your Xbox One second generation controller, that is, right to your PC to be able to play any of your games. And pretty much just to disconnect it, I don't know, I just took out my battery pack, and then when I turned it on, obviously it didn't pair to anything. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did find it helpful or enjoyed it in any way, shape, or form, please do make sure to uh, consider leaving a like and consider uh, subscribing and turning on post notifications to never miss a new video from me. And yeah, so with that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest of guys day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.